Proverbs 11 verse 16 says, A gracious woman returneth honor, and strong men return riches. Somebody say strong men. Strong men. A gracious woman returneth honor. But if you are going to walk in wealth, you're going to walk in affluence, you must carry strength. Somebody say strength. strength. Brothers and sisters, you see, my job is to bring you to the place of the strong. And I see you get there. Amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. We are no human being can prevent you from fulfilling destiny. Can I say nobody can stop me from fulfilling destiny? I can't hear your amen. No, no, no. Where nobody can hurt you. That's a place of the strong. This life is filled with a lot of pressure. But I am not going to permit you to live all your life in excuses. Amen. If they ask you what happened, you say, well, you say, uh, I was doing well oh, until uh, somebody came and this so and so and removed everything I had. I was doing well, oh, never again. Amen. I said, never again. Amen. You have to realize, brothers and sisters, that that's not your story. Amen. Uh, there was this man in our compound. The man, the wicked man, no, nine kill all my children. Not you. Amen. I can't hear your amen. amen. I was still a kid when my father's last sister returned from her marital home. I was still a kid. I was still in secondary school. She had seven sons. All of them died before her eyes. In a period of how many years? Is it four years or three? They told me. Seven. <laughs> Lift your hand. Whatever is targeting you, I kill it for you. You are working in a company, and I see I, I, in a, a every time, every time in this company, they're doing favoritism. Uh, they promote people from so and so tribe. They can't. I, in a, I can't get contract here. I, I don't understand. Uh, you see, it's because I am not an indigent. A lot of foolish pastors in this city, when we were younger, kept telling us, say, if you are, I, 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 I'm not an indigent here. That's why trusts are not working. Nonsense. Anywhere you are found on earth, you are an indigent. <laughs> Lift up your hand. This life submit to you in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 3, 8 and 9. Ezekiel 3, 8 and 9. He said, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. God was talking to Ezekiel. He said, I have made your face strong against their faces. I have made your forehead strong against their foreheads. Look at the next one. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made their forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. They may carry all manner of things, but it's your dominion. Who wants to take over? This is not the service I came to preach. In. Who wants to take over? Who is establishing dominion? I stretch my hand over you. This land bow to you. This generation bow to you. I can't hear your amen. The place of the strong is a place where your fears don't show. 
when your smile would cease. Just keep smiling. Your fears don't show. Just keep moving. Are they hearing me? I told you a story many years ago. But we are still on the other side. I went out with my wife and her friend Monte were coming back to the house. I was driving and then somebody had called me while we were in the car. I said, Pastor, please, my brother is at the teaching hospital. He's at the point of that. I know he's not a member of your church, but I know if he intervenes, he will leave. Please, we are here now. Can you come? I was going home. It was evening. So I said, well, I am going home now. I want to drop my family. But I promise I will come. So what we're about to go, I just had this thought. Back here, there was a place close to my house. I was living in Chifamadi Street at that time. But there was another street that you pass through Wimpy and enter. It doesn't have a road into my street. But I can walk through somebody's house and enter my street. So I passed, I parked there. I didn't know it was God that was directing me. I only parked there because I told my wife, I said, if I get to the house now, the way I am tired, I won't be able to get out and go to the hospital. As I'm going to park here, we're going to trek across. When I think I'm coming to repark the car, that momentum will break that. That's how I take away laziness. Are you with me? You make decisions against yourself so that you don't get lazy. Some of you can learn that today. Come on, are you with me? Yes, so I say, if I park on this street now instead of my street, when I come out to repack the car, the momentum will be broken, the inertia will be broken. I'll be able to drive from there to the hospital. So I told her, she said, okay. So we parked there. And then we crossed to the side. I didn't know it was God that was directing my step. Because they were robbing on my street that day. I know one or two persons here that lived on that street. And they operated there freely that day. One girl was doing her birthday, they shot her. A young boy was coming back home from Deeper Life Bible Study that day, they shot him. All kinds of things on that street that day. If I'm driven in at that time, I was driven in and met them. But when I was walking through somebody's house, God prevented me from jamming them. But as we came, they were near the place of the girl that was doing the birthday. One of them saw us walking across. I didn't know people have hidden in their houses. We were just coming. People were calling me when I was passing through somebody's house. I, S -s -s, and it was a girl's voice. I said, who can get the do so for me? <laughs> what kind of nonsense? So I just ignored it. I wish I was wiser now. I will go. No, you're not. Is anybody hearing me? But, but then I was holy man. So I just. Are you with me? So I was just walking across. I didn't know she was trying. Later she told us that she was trying to tell us that something is happening there. And then we came out. As I came out, one of the people carrying one of the guns was standing over there and saw us passing. Stop there. My wife is big. Her friend is big too. That is the day I know that no matter your size, you can run. You didn't hear me. Before they stop their landed, they have crossed gate. What? The speed at which they ran, only God knows the velocity. They cross gate. Enter there, of course, our gate man don't take off sense. Nobody at the gate. This young man was carrying his gun and was just coming like that toward me. I put my hand in my pocket. It wasn't intentional, just to, not to show fear. And I was just walking toward my gate. Stop there! I look at him, I continue. Stop there! 
I look at him like God. And my neighbors are all watching through their windows. <laughs> Put my hand like that. Before he got to me, I've entered my gate, closed the door, locked the gate, and went to my house waiting for them. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you the truth. My neighbors that were in the other house told me that they all gathered in front of the house about to break into the house. And one of them said, this man where they work out like this, if he gets something, my attitude made them turn back. There is a way fear humiliates hell. I stretch my hand toward you. In the name that's above every name, you will never fear again. It's not that we don't have fear. It's that our fears don't show. Our smile does not cease. I was standing in the first service. I said, can you imagine a girl like Esther? Beautiful princess. But poise, elegance, control. This is her man that she hates. No shouting. No screaming. This is a girl who is in control. If you help me, say yes. yes. Hey. My husband, can you come for a lunch? Yes, I'll come. Can you come with her man? This is a, girl, a man that hates her people. Plan to kill her people. She hates the man. The man walks into the house. She makes food. The man couldn't discern any trace of resentment, anger, bitterness. Her carriage is heavenly. There are few young people that can do that. They, they'll flip out. Flip out in the office. Flip out in the marriage. Their mother-in-law or sister-in-law, they, they flip out. Before they know it, they've lost the marriage. They can't have God. That's strength. Strength is not muscle. Strength is I'm in charge. You look at Satan and say, turn the fire you. What thing you go do? No, you're not hearing me. What thing you go do me? Or you can't carry me. Satan look at you like that. He's weak. He said, this man, nothing I do, they touch him. You are not hearing me. <laughs> I stretch my hand toward you. It will never be said that you are weak again. Amen. Amen. This is where you enter territories and you take over. I see it that happen. Amen. You know what God told Joshua and Joshua chapter 1, verse 6 to 9? He said, only be thou strong and very courageous. He said, you're going to divide the land for the people. Be strong and very courageous. No, you didn't hear me. Be what? Strong. Let me tell you a story. Maybe some people, you know, there are some things I do. It came from training. And you may not understand, but let me give you this story that we give you an insight into how my heart works sometimes. And so when I was a kid, my dad told me, he said when he was younger, he wanted to join the police. Are you with me? He just did a diploma at Ibadan in 1949. I wanted to be, at that time, if he had joined the police, he would be one of the top. He wanted to join the police. He said, I've passed through every written thing uh, that the, they put at that time for us. And then he came for the interview with the, what do they call it now? Today they call it Inspector General. I don't know what they call it. That the person that was the leader of the police. He said, I walked into his office. He's sitting down. They have been interviewed in batches. My dad told me this story. He said, he asked me to sit down. I sat down. He sat down. 
And he looked into my eye. And he kept his eye direct on my eye. He said, the mo as he, his eye, this white man was looking at him, the eye was as if he was aggressive against my father. He said, in a few minutes, he said, I kept looking at him. After some time, I just bent my head down. So I tapped on the table. He looked up. He shook his head. He said, I looked at you, you bent your head. He said, go and grow up. When you grow, come back. That's how you never got into that. We have been one of the leaders of police in this nation. 1940 something. And he said to me as a son, he said, when men star in your face, don't look down. I grew up as a kid hearing that. So you can't stare me down. Who oh boy you? Lift up your hand. Life will never cheat you in the name of Jesus Christ. Never cheat you. Doesn't matter your age. Doesn't matter who you are. You stand your ground. This is Papa's land. Oh dear. Am I talking to human beings here too? So you should know how people's heart works. You can't fail. Yeah. Oh dear, I'm talking to a wrong people. Yeah. But, but, but can I tell you this? I said to them in the first service, it takes a journey to get to the place of the strong. It takes a journey to get to the place of the strong. It takes a journey. Somebody say a journey. Yeah. Can I say a journey? Yeah. A journey. Uh, have you heard of the people that call the Bible because David's mighty men? Huh? Yeah. Oh dear God. Have you heard of David's mighty men? I don't have all the time. This Sunday service, I read all the Bible passages. But listen, uh, David, when Saul was pursuing him, he ran away. He didn't want Saul to kill him, so he ran into a cave. They called the cave Adullam Cave. So David is in Adullam, and the Bible says these hundreds of distressed people, despairing people, disappointing people, debtors ran from the city and they came to David. Guys, are you okay? Or the story I told you made you fat sad. Don't worry. It has happened long ago. My dad is late now. He's not looking for a police job. Are you hearing me? <laughs> now look up here. You see. David ran to the cave. And David is sitting down there. And. Uh, this man came to him. These are men that the society has rejected. Men that can't see a future with themselves. And David settled down. And began to mentor them. I began to teach them strength. I began to teach them the act of war. I began to teach them how to fight for life. How to make life submit to them. These are men that have nothing in it. And then suddenly. You began to see those men taking charge. One of them stood one day with a sword and slaughtered 800 men. 800. One fought so much, the Bible says his sword cleft to his hand. He fought until he was tired, sword cleft to his hand. Another one saw a lion in a snowy day, in a pit, attacking him. He entered the pit and killed the lion and brought the lion out. These are men that were nothing, running from other men, and they became mighty. By the time David was dying, they were listing them and calling their names. When David wanted to raise money for the temple that Solomon built, he gathered other men and said, Well, guys, God has prospered us. Can we give? And in today's currency, those people gave more than a billion dollars. The mighty men. They were the ones that raised the money that Solomon used to build. How did they get from depth to wealth, from weakness to strength? They hung around somebody who taught them strength. And God sent me and said, teach my people strength. <laughs> Lift up your hand. Wherever life defeated you, wherever you lost the battle before coming here, you will never lose again. 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 We don't back down. We don't surrender. 
we don't lose hope. I believe dear governors don't terrify me. Ministries and governments and uh, counselors don't terrify me. Political system, traditional systems don't terrify me. If you help me say yes. yes. I told you when we were on the other side, I think I shared this story last week. When the young man came out from the back of that uh, uh, civic center, he said he was watching the place and he saw people coming out of the tree. You remember? Yes. And he ran until he fainted. He came to me and said, Pastor, if you know what is good for you, live here now. You don't want to die here. Well, two things. Number one, I was broke. Number two, I'm a fighter. When you are broke and a fighter, both of them combined, you become dangerous. <laughs> come, come on, what I'm saying is that true? I didn't have money to rent another place. If I had money, I would have moved. But I had no money. And I'm a fighter. And I fought that demonic altar to a standstill. You, you need to understand. Sir, you have to take the battle to the gates. Amen. 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 They can't be fighting you and you are, you are dying. You don't even know where they're coming from. Not everything happening is normal. Before my stepmom died many years ago, she lived more than 10 years after this incident that happened. She was in the hospital. She told me, in our place, not another hospital, in our village, you have a community hospital. She was there. Big hospital at that time. It's a lot bit dilapidated now. Lying there in the hospital. And then she said, you know, when you, are, when you are in the dream or in the spirit, there are no walls. You can travel anyhow. Come on, are you with me? She said she saw some people. A few of them she mentioned, she remembered them that are living people and the others that are like dead people. That they, were, they came into the hospital in the night. These are old people in the village that she knows some of them. And they were dressed like doctors and nurses. The women like nurses and men like doctors. And they were walking to the hospitals. And they will come to this guy's table, this guy something, and bring out his folder. And they want like the doctor read it and show the other one and they talk about it. And they were doing that. And some of the people, they said, no, this one is, uh, he won't make it. And all that, they make a comment and the man will take his uh, red king can mark a big something on the file of the person. And all that. And she noted all the people they marked the something on my stepbrother is still alive, she can tell you. Noted all the people that mark the funeral. She got up in the morning and was sharing the, uh, the funny dream that she had. Brothers and sisters, it looked like a game. That by, before 6 p.m. that day, all the people she mentioned they marked died. That's how we knew it was an act of witchcraft. These guys are witches. They come to here to hunt for people. Life is not a game. Why you are sitting down here now? Anywhere they mention your name, I kill them for you. The Bible said in Psalm 20, 127 verse 5 that the children will speak with the enemies at the gates. They will bow to you. Yeah. So when we're talking about taking the, uh, uh, the battle to the gates, we're talking about taking dominion over territories. That you entered into a marriage, the marriage can't vomit you. There are women you know that got married into a compound and took that compound captive. Nobody breathes without them. They use demonic power. You use spiritual power. Use the power of Jesus. If you have my voice, say yes. Who yes. took dominion? The sister came to my office. I was crying and crying and trying to get emotional. I got angry and I wanted to walk her out of my office. Are you crying for me to cry with you too or to come and comfort you? Are you okay? Uh, pastor, uh, he said, uh, look at me. Uh, 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 see, see what my husband did. Uh, uh, they, uh, they told me, uh, the, the people prophesied to me that uh, 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 the, the, the one girl washed herself with uh, something and then slept with him. That's why he doesn't want to see me again. I said, he'd be hanging around me talking in tongues. 
Every time, shut da 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 da, they fall down one. No, you're not hearing me. <laughs> Is anybody hearing me? Sha da da da, you you fall on the ground. So that thing that you are carrying cannot stop somebody from taking your husband. If a girl they buff her with whatever they buff her. She can take your husband. You that the Holy Ghost is living in you. Don't you know you're a mobile shrine? You're a moving altar. Deity lives in you. Am I talking to somebody here today? Everywhere you go, God goes. You tell me that a man slept with you and nothing happened. And then they slept with somebody that carries demon and something happened. Your own God in a lie. And they hearing my voice. Men walk into office and take charge. Stop telling me stupid stories and go and show the devil that you are still breathing. <laughs> Lift up your hand and say they will bow. <laughs> Can I shout they will bow? <laughs> Can I shout they will bow? <laughs> you control cultures. You control decisions. You rule the mountains of influence. Are you still with me? Whichever mountain you are, you rule it. You bring demonic forces under subjection. They bow because of you. They move out because of you. Are they still here? It is your turn. Yeah. Isaiah 28 verse 6. Look at verse, verse, start from verse 4. Start from verse 4. Isaiah 28, start from verse 4. Quickly. It's and the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley shall be a fading flower and as a hasty fruit before the summer which when he that looketh upon it seeth it while it is yet in his hand he eateth it up. Keep going. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of it. He said God will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his Are you his people? Ah. Huh? He will crown you with beauty, glory and beauty. Next verse. What is he going to be to his people? He will be to them a spirit of judgment. To him that sitteth in judgment. And for strength to them that turn the battle to the gates. That's what God is to you. This land can defeat you. I can't be pastoring benevolence candidates. School is about to resume. You are crying. I can't pay school fees. What? House rent, I can't pay. What? He said, Pastor, things are hard. With God alive, with the covenant alive, it's ending now. Yeah. I wish you would believe me. Yeah. Who will believe me here? The last time you cried is the last time you will cry forever. Yeah. The last time you were under financial pressure is the last time forever. The last time witchcraft subdued is the last time forever. The last time somebody took your contract is the last time forever. The last time you missed a promotion is the last time forever. The last time a boss came against you is the last time forever. I lift my hand over you as one sent by God. And I declare your days of sorrow has ended. Your days of shame has ended. Your days of toiling has ended. Somebody shall power. you take the battle to the gates in the first service I told them neutralize the ruling spirits and evil gatekeepers neutralize them fight them to stand safe number two control the power circles and mountains of influence and number three impose the supernatural in the natural order of life our time is gone I wish that I could teach this particular service well but you see let's deal with control the power circles and mountains of influence. Brothers and sisters, if we must reach our world, Christians must have money. Can you accept that? There's nothing you can do on this earth today without money. Is that true? Uh, is that true? There's nothing. There's nothing. See what unbelievers are doing. You know why many young Christian musicians are decamping from singing Christian music? Because 
want to sp get sponsorship, you have to remove Jesus from your song. You are not hearing me. They were interviewing somebody yesterday in America. They said, why is it that in the sports in America, everybody is talking about gay, 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 transgender and all of that. He said, ask Nike. He said, started with Nike. Nike will not promote you unless you sign up to that. And because they needed Nike's money, everybody started going there. And other organizations started taking the journey. He said, started with Nike. Where there is money, there's influence. An influence preaches the gospel. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 23. He said, Thus said the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of the languages of the nations, even shall take hold on the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Influence he preaches the gospel. He said, We will follow you. We don't see him more. People are running away from God. Look at what they did to us in the last uh, political dispensation. Huh? Vu, 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 vu. Uh, the more you look, this is... <laughs> is that true? It's over. And uh, all you do is, mm. life goes on. You see, politicians are running up and down now. Christian politicians. You know why we don't win? Wait now. Election is coming. They go and hire their thugs. They stand. You come there. The man look at you. You see his chest out there. He has two, two, two chests. <laughs> Hand is out there. As if you're crossing, I break it. You look at your CV. You, tell, you remember your children. It's like they go. So they go home. You go. He said, but I wanted to vote. They say, no, let righteous people come and contest election. Let them come out. They, no, the righteous don't win. Because we are too nice. We don't want to offend God. The only way the righteous can win is if they give money, you give. If they hire talk, you hire. If they fight, you fight. And then you add prayer on top of your own. That's the only way you can win. Outside of that, you will lose. You see, you're hearing me now. You think I'm joking. That's the truth. Outside of that, you're not winning nothing. When they told you you don't have structure, did you ask them what structure means? Lift up my hand over you. As you're hearing me now, in that company, God give you favor. Yeah. Carry God everywhere. Carry power everywhere. We cannot back down. Enough is enough. Are they hearing my voice? How can all the occult be the ones taking contrast in that company? How can only initiated people rising in that job? Never. We will break their back. We won't be like them. We will break their back. Lift your hand. You will go through. Whether it's the mountain of religion. I told the pastors I mentor. See some small, small young pastors who don't know God, but they can prophesy because they went somewhere and they washed their eye. I said, you don't have to go wash your eye. Stay with God until you become God's voice. Come on, are you with me? Yes, Match them, take them out. To, I can't be a pastor and be no now. I can't die small. Will you die small? Yes. Is it the mountain of family? I can't marry. No, you must too. Mountain of education. We must take the mountain. We have all kinds of Christians in establishments. None of them rises. I want you to be a prof. You can't be a church and bear lawyer in gateway. If you become a son, I mean, I'm your pastor. I must pastor sons. I can't hear your amen. amen. I'll be doctor. I don't want for teaching hospital. I want a CMD. I nominate you. Yeah. I, are, we, are they hearing me? Yeah. 
See all kinds of people, they come to church. They say, I'm chief. So, so, so. I don't call any chief. I don't know any chief here. I only know traditional rulers. If you're a chief, I won't recognize you. Go and be the traditional ruler. Come. Are they hearing my voice? <laughs> Lift up your hand. I want you at the topmost top. They are not hearing me now. I am showing you the manifesto for this end of the year. I lift my hand over you. Wherever you are, take over. I say, take over. All through the Bible, God positioned his people in the mountains of influence. He put them in the place of authority. David was there. Are you with me? Solomon carried wealth. Joseph and Daniel controlled things. I want to somewhere. We are your generation, we feel God. Are you with me? Yes. But you have to know that power circles are guarded by strange gates. It takes strange passwords to enter. You know, when you go to the UK, there's a school called Eton. I'm sure you know Eton. Huh? 20 prime ministers in the UK passed through that school. 20. That college, 20. You know that this is where the initiation happens. You want to go, go there. Power circles are guarded by strength. Matthew chapter 4. Let me show you something. Our time is gone, but I'm going to close this soon. Matthew chapter 4. Please follow me now. I want you to notice this. Matthew chapter 4 verse 8. Again, the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them. Satan took Jesus to the high mountain, showed him the kingdoms and the glory. And look at what Satan said to Jesus. I said unto him, all these things will I give you if thou will fall down and worship. Satan took Jesus. Satan took Jesus to a high mountain and showed him the kingdoms of this world and the glory. I said, we give you this if we will fall down. Satan is talking to Jesus, knowing he's talking to Jesus. If you fall down, worship me. Now, what do you expect Jesus to say? He said, you're a stupid man. I created all of that. I can't worship you to get it. It's not in your hand. Jesus never said that. You know why? Jesus was aware that Satan wasn't lying. No, you didn't hear me. Now, I got your attention. Jesus was aware that Satan wasn't lying. So, Jesus didn't confront him. Why? The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. But God gave the earth to the children of men. Adam took the leaves of the earth and handed over to Satan. So, Satan took the leaves of the earth and was now the allocator of the resources of the earth. So when Satan told Jesus, if you are going to rise on this earth, now me that sign up, Jesus didn't say, Jesus said, I can't bow to you. I have Calvary to go to. When I finish at Calvary, we can discuss. I can't bow to you. You see, that's why a lot of people don't understand when we talk about mammon. Somebody, have you heard of mammon before? Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. You know when Jesus was talking to him, he said, you can't worship God and mammon. What does he mean? People say, oh, mammon is money. No, 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 no. Mammon is a Syrian god of money and profit. Mammon is a personality. It's a demonic spirit. The Babylonian equivalent of that is called Madoc. Bel Madoc. That's the Babylonian equivalent. And the Jews were continually seduced by these gods. Why? They look at Syrians that are prospering. They look at Babylonians that are prospering. They look at themselves and things are not working. So they go bow to those gods. Have you ever wondered why the Israelites, when they were coming in the wilderness, when they wanted to make an idol, the idol they made is called the golden calf. Is that true? Not the golden lion. The golden calf. You know why? In, the, in Egypt, where they left, they had a god they worship. They call it Hathor. Hathor is a golden calf. And Hathor is a god of wealth in Egypt. Is their nourisher in Egypt. So when these guys were in the wilderness and things were not working the way they expected, they remembered Hathor. So they made their God reflecting that of the place they came from. Am I talking to somebody here today? Remember Jezebel 
Huh? Why was Jezebel having so many people following her? She washes Baal. In fact, the name of Jezebel's father is Et Baal. That means a reincarnation of Baal. So Jezebel came into the kingdom and in her reign, prosperity everywhere. Jezebel had wealth and power. And rain was falling. Everything was working because Baal is the god of fertility and rain. And because of him, food was everywhere. So they felt like Jezebel's god was working. No, you are not hearing me here today. That's why when the man, Elijah, wanted to punish them and show them that there's a God higher than Baal. He came and said, from today, no rain will fall until I say so. He was trying to tell them, this woman can't give rain. It's my God that gives rain. And she closed the heavens. Are they hearing my voice? That's how we subdue darkness, by stopping them. I say to you today, evil will not prevent. I can't hear your Amen. You know, in Revelation chapter, Revelation chapter 8, verse 11, the Bible talks about this uh, demonic power. It said, the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. That's when Jezebel falls, Babylon the great falls. When Bel and Modoc is falling, it said, the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn for her. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Keep going. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all the time wood and all manner of vessels and all manner of all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble. Marble is not done. Look at it. Look at it. I want you to see the merchants. I want you to see what, what bell sells and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. That's the merchandise of bell. Lift your hand. As you live here now, powers bow to you. Whatever industry you are involved in, whatever career you are involved in, you want me to do charm to rise. I do your charm from this altar. Go and take your dominion. Go and take your leadership. Go and take your career. As a showman, let your show work. As a musician, your music work. As an artist, your art work. I come in the name of the Lord. And I speak over you today. As a comedian, your comedy work. As a musician, your music blow out there. As you step out, as a businessman, work in millions. Work in billions. Take it in the name of Jesus. You can bow to death. You can bow to them. You know why they were worshipping Mammon? Mammon was called the keeper of the gates. Somebody say keeper. keeper. The keeper of the gates. That's why God said to them, I will give you the treasures of darkness. I will open the two leaf gates. Mammon was the keeper of those gates. Mammon is called the treasurer of the gods. He's the one that has handled them. That's why they were working for them. We need to control these mountains of influence. How can you be in an industry? I mean, see many young girls in this place. Many young boys here. They're supposed to be in the entertainment industry. And not one of them is shining. Whatever covered you, I'm anointed to break it. I lift my hand over you. Whatever covered you, this year will not end. Your voice will be heard. Your face will be said. Your name will come out. No matter what covered you is breaking now. I say it's breaking now. I say it's breaking now. I say it's breaking now. A footballer is breaking now. I can tell the kabosha hatalaba. An actor is breaking now. A ketele parataha. Anything that covered your face, covered your destiny, covered somebody shall fire. Are you just sitting down? Get up on your feet and shall fire. Lift your hand high and shall fire. Don't sit down, stand. I don't care what it is. Your days in darkness has ended. I speak as one sent by God. We are not beggars. 
We are not beggars. Whatever company you are walking in, the topmost stop is your direction. I said the topmost stop is your direction. I said the topmost stop is your direction. I reject you from picking crumbs. I reject you from picking crumbs. Enough is enough. Enough. It's a strong man return which he reaches. Strong man. Strong men, not beggars, not people that are picking things. And you, you better listen to a first service message. You need to know how to control things. Listen to a first service message. I went in depth into that. You know how to control things. How to sit down and cook the atmosphere. You walk in there, they're saluting you without knowing why. That give me your opportunities. They didn't know why. They said they can't give you. You appear. They say, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We made a mistake. Enough is enough. How can all court men be controlling everything? And you are taking things for granted. You submit the quotation, quotation loss. They give it to somebody else. When God needs the billions. Father, if I speak your voice, I stretch my hand over everyone hearing me who has a passion for your kingdom, who wants to get well to serve you. Ja! To Palata, let the Lord open for you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and say, My Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord open, let the nations open, let the doors open, let the gates open, open the amount of prayer. Don't pray like you're sick. Don't pray.